Hey Planner friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is Man With The Plans and we are back to do a plan with me for the week of Monday, January 18th through Sunday, January 24th. And now I feel like I was doing so well the first couple of days of the year and then things happened and you know, kind of went off course. So we are getting back into it. I've got a busy week here and I figured in honor of the new celebrations collection that is launching at the tail end of this week, I figured I would use a Chris Ann Designs kit. It's this fun teal with the snowflakes. I believe we're expecting a winter storm here in Minnesota coming up. So I figured, why not? Why not use this and really celebrate and relish the snow, if you will. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take this and kind of just put it here across the bottom. I'm still trying to get my groove. Uh, I'm in my Moxie Life Planner. Come on, close, there you go. See, hold on to your vision. So I'm still settling in. I'm loving the fact that my goals are so front and center, but it's still taking an adjustment from what I was currently using beforehand, which was the plum paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go like this. I don't know if this is meant to be used like this, but I also realize like it's meant to be used however I want it to be used. So that's the way we're doing it this time. Got myself my little ruler here. I just really serve it as a straight edge. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this scored. This was a suggestion by a subscriber like years ago, like, hey, maybe you should use an X-Acto knife. And it changed my life. So go ahead and do this. But, you know, I'm excited. Things are strange. They're kind of getting back to normal, if you will, in terms of like, we have a dance season for dance team, which I still can't believe is happening, but I had my first meet to officiate uh, last week and you know we were sitting socially distanced and had our masks on and the dancers and fans had masks on but it was it was different it definitely was different I mean I'm glad that it's back but it is just there's a lot of feelings behind everything and you know it's just a little bit concerning but we are back into the season and I'm just so glad that the dancers are able to be able to compete against one another and it, I am grateful for that for them to be able to do that especially the seniors but let's go ahead and add our date covers. This has never been a strong suit of mine, so we'll try to go ahead and make them as straight as possible. But I'm filming this on Tuesday, which means I spent all day yesterday not working, because it's a holiday for me at my normal job, which meant that I got to catch up on all sorts of dance team related stuff. So I am on our executive board and I do the scheduling, and so as you can admit, we have a very shortened season this year, and so we're trying to kind of play catch up and host a bunch of meets as we can and get them all scheduled in a short amount of time. So it's been, it's been a sprint, if you will, but it's actually been kind of cool. So I am just thrilled that we're back in action and we're actually able to kind of get a season done. I was really concerned for a hot minute if that was gonna be an issue, but thankfully we are back, and so, that took a lot of my time yesterday, which is nice because I was able to kind of get caught up on those emails and those responses and all that good stuff. So no complaints out of me. This weekend I'll also be heading to um, two out of state dance meets, um, which is always fun. I'm going alone, but that's all right. I'll be spending the night um, somewhere up north, which is always fun. I know people love going up north in the summer, but I kind of like it in the winter. I mean, I feel like this year, since nothing's open, it's kind of a low-key adventure. But I do think it will be nice for me to get up there and just appreciate everything that Minnesota has to offer in the wintertime, because really, like, it's kind of incredible. Let me go ahead and stick this weekend sticker down here. Actually, uh, let's go here. I like that. And I've gotten really in the habit of um, doing my work across the top here in those little boxes. So I'm gonna try to set that up like I usually do. Uh, I think that's the right teal. Let's go with that, shall we? So I've got this flipped. What I'm gonna do is just kind of make some boxes. I don't know why, but this feels really satisfying to me, I guess, in some way, just because of I, the fact that I can kind of organize it however I want to. So what I like to do up here is reserve three boxes, create a box like a nice little rectangle, and this is meant for my work. Maybe we'll do this as our workout. So usually I leave like a space or two and then we'll do the workout bar underneath it. Normally I do this with my outliners, but today I felt like uh, using some EC stuff. So we'll figure we'll go here. All right. So let's flip her over. And we'll do three boxes for with the teal for my work stuff. 
All right, wonderful. And then what do we do after that? We skip two. Okay. Trying to get more consistent with how I organize this. So we'll see here. So yeah, I mean, pretty standard. This is how I like to have my week set up, if you will. What I'm gonna do now is take some of these guys and try to color code down at the bottom here, kind of what, what I should be doing. So let's do this here. This will just be another to-do list of stuff that has to get done, because as if I don't have enough stuff to do, you know? So I'm gonna try to color block this week in here and see how this goes. I'm usually not great at that, because I don't listen to <laughs> all the rules, if you will. <laughs> but then I also realize, like, it's my own rules that I'm making up, so they don't really matter if you know what I mean. But And I, I pre-fill my, um, my habits in meditate, workout, check my budget, gratitude, vitamins, affirmations, and reading. So there we go. That's that. I like how that looks so far. Um, let's see. Ta-da. Coffee break planner. A classic. So what I'll probably do is just throw that one here. Take a second and just kind of like go through. Why not? You know, if you've got them, you might as well use them. And so this is like her script font that is so fun. I will leave it linked down below if you're curious. Alright. So I feel like having a space for a workout makes me feel guilty if I don't fill it in. Have you guys ever experienced that? But like by doing this, I'm like, well you better fill something or you're gonna be mad at yourself that it's a it's a blank box. But I think they're just so cute, aren't they? Like, I don't know. Adds a little bit of pizzazz. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, because I can't help myself, is I'm gonna add obviously our Chris Ann designs. These are the Celebrations Collection stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here. Just kinda like overlay. I believe this is Martin Luther King Day and Cheese Lovers Day, which is fitting because I made Bake CD, so um, always a good time. And then Handwriting Day, I believe, is the 23rd of January, so I'll go ahead and put this one here. Cool! Looking good. Looking good. So, let's go ahead and keep going. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we will uh, flip to one side, yeah? There we go. She's so cute. I really like how festive this is. So, one thing to note is I always put a gratitude thing down here, just kind of like what I'm grateful for for the day. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some of the things. I was off work this day, so we're gonna leave that blank. Uh, and you know what, we'll just stay consistent and use this. But today, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some of the other items that I need to get done for Tuesday. I love doing a little bo check box here. All right, so we've got those written in. We've on these two, so haha. -ha. I'll leave my workout blank, and now let's go ahead. And with these, you gotta use a specific marker, at least I feel the need to. Let me go ahead and grab it. I use this little pouch that I got from Go Wild in 2019. Sorry, I left my lending pen at home. Just kind of love that. And it has all my mild liners in it, but it also has uh, this little guy here that is my go to. It is the, um, it's the pilot. This is the Ultra Fine Point Permanent. Can you see that? Is that doing its thing? I feel like there's a beauty influencer. Come on, focus. Focus, there it is. Beautiful. So, in terms of things that I need to do these past couple of days, yesterday was uh, emails for the scheduler account. Send rosters. I had to make Big Z. My friend was supposed to come over, but unfortunately she wasn't feeling good because she, as a nurse, got her second vaccine, so she's recovering from that, taking it easy. Um, and then I had to do some confirmations, that's what it was. So that took a lot of the day, but you know what, it was nice to have the day off. And then today, it's probably going to be hard to see, but I need to finish some more emails and invites. I have to book my hotel for up north this weekend. I need to send out my emails as the superior judge. I need to prep for our meeting, because we're doing something fun this evening with our new members. We call it the mentor program. It's one of those uh, training things. So I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, something from here. I'm also gonna take one of these guys. Just do day off up top. All right, yeah, so tonight we're doing what's called the mentor program. And this is one of my favorite things. It is just a really fun way to um, start to train in our new members so that they are able to get comfortable working in the stands. Um, it's just something that I really enjoy being a part of and helping 
Um, even though I'm a newer official, it's just fun to be able to work with them, talk about dance, go through the process, ask them, have them ask us questions. Like, there's just so many fun things that we do with them that I think is just so satisfying and gratifying, at least for me. Like, it's just the little things in life, you know? And being able to help them get started and set up with everything for the season, I just think it's really, really wonderful. Um, maybe we'll use these little uh, point shoes. It's not meant for dance, like we don't do point for dance team, but close enough. So yeah, that's when, that's uh, Monday and Tuesday. Kind of spoken for, a lot of work happening there. Uh, in terms of things for Monday, again, I need to kind of like all the work related stuff. And then what I'll do down here is just like, you know, start to pick things up. So I got to do some laundry um, before I leave. I want to make sure I have everything nice and clean and fresh and ironing um, because I want to look my best when I get up to some of these schools. I need to finalize order of performance. And I also want to go ahead and make sure I've got some snacks and some meals prepped and ready to go for when I leave. Just trying to get into meal prepping, eating a little bit better on the road, because don't get me wrong, I love Taco Bell and any excuse I can, but sometimes probably just not the best thing to do. I also want to sure I edit some videos for YouTube, get those rolling. Honestly, I think that's about it. I'm gonna film my workouts as I do them. I didn't do one yesterday because uh, I'm lazy. Uh, that's gonna wrap up, I think, Wednesday. Nothing too exciting, if you will. Uh, the next thing though, in terms of work on Thursday, a couple of meetings that I want to prep for. So we have a strategy planning meeting that I want to get ready for. And I have a couple of emails I want to, I'll leave a space blank because I'm sure something will come up between now and then. So then the last thing down here in terms of the big to-do list, I need to print my sheets off. There are a couple of items that we have to print and use as judges that I want to make sure I have copies of. I'm going to pack an overnight bag because I will be up north Friday into Saturday, so just having all of my stuff put together and ready to go. Um, even I'll probably even pack my car ahead of time, not that I have a lot, but just cleaning it out, making sure things are good to go, I think that's just like a worry of mine, you know. Um, so then later on in the afternoon, probably, oh, I'm gonna go, I'll go get gas so I don't even have to worry about it when we're on the trip. Oh, I gotta upload and do some thumbnails, so. Not the most exciting thing in the world. I think that's it for Thursday. Kind of boring, but you know what? This week has, like, I feel like we've got a lot going on here, but I'm gonna add one of these little don't forget stickers around the packing. Oh, and it matches the color. Perfect, wonderful. And then obviously anything else that happens, I'll fill in here along the way and then add my daily gratitude. Friday, we've got a lot going on. And I'm gonna have to be very, very smart with my time. Um, I generally am someone that works out after work and I have a funny feeling I'm not gonna have that luxury. So um, I wanna make sure that I get that done early. So that's all planned out. We have an ops call. And then I'm gonna be taking a half day because I have to drive up to the meet. So I plan on checking into the hotel early. It's officially one of my favorite times of year when you know we've got ourselves a meet. It's funny how much I, I really didn't know how much I missed this in terms of like keeping myself occupied during the winter. I really didn't think it would be that big of a deal, but it really is. It's like something to look forward to, something to enjoy. I'm super excited for that. I really just, it's been something that's kept me going throughout the whole year. And I really just can't wait to be able to get back in the swing of things. I, did, I had a meet last week that was really, really fun. I also want to make sure that I get my official's review form in, and ultimately that I get uh, prep for the next day, because I have to do the same role again on Saturday at a different school. Saturday is going to be another dance meet. Uh, we're rounding out the weekend. I always joke and call these like a dance bender, uh, just because you spend a lot of time on the road, a lot of time driving. It's really, really fun. So, you know, it's just something that I really do enjoy, although people probably think I'm crazy for it, but that's okay. It helps get you through the winter any way possible. So we've got that meet. Obviously the next morning, I've got to make sure that I head to the meet site, got to email results, officials review form. Busy day, I believe I'll be there from like 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So a full day of work, which I don't mind. It doesn't really feel like work if I'm gonna be totally honest. But I actually wanna get some, I have somewhere in my little travel section. This is the Me and My Big Ideas, it's the on the go. But I think there's like a, Couple of road trip ones or something. Why not? No. no. 
Now let's go ahead and these match, so. Hmm. Do a U R here down this way, and then we'll do a right now over here. I don't know. And then I've got these cute once more with love travel folks, little marshmallow dude. So we'll kind of just put him down here as well, because we are hitting the road. Maybe we'll do it straddle it that way, and then for. Thursday when I have to pack. Let's go ahead and put a cute little matching suitcase. Um, let's see who's on theme here. Teal. Teal it is. One of my favorite colors. Come on. And these are from Blue Scooter Press. I just think her stuff is so, so cute. Uh oh. He's stuck. There we go. Okay. Cute. Wonderful. I gotta do that the night before. This is me trying to embellish everywhere I can because honestly, I have so many stickers. I just feel like it's a, uh, at this point it's just a little bit nuts. And I, I don't feel like I use all of them. So like when I'm filming these videos, I'm kind of going fast because I want to make sure that I don't keep you guys for boring stuff. But it's also like, use what you got, man. So I think that should be it for that. And then Sunday, you know, it, I'm going to be exhausted. I always am. I feel like there's like a dance hangover. Not that it's a bad thing or anything, but just you're tired. So I'm going to uh, do some meal planning and grocery shopping just because it's one of those things that I know I got to get done and it's going to make me feel better. I want to set up my, um, my workstation. I take it down on the weekends because it just, it's on my kitchen island in my small space where I film these. So normally I have to like take it down and whatever. And then I'd also like to do my plan with me and get that done early since you can tell I'm a little bit slow filling these in. I still don't know what the heck to film over here in, but I don't know. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was um, I got something in the mail for me and a friend of mine. I don't know, I want to show you guys these. They're called Worthy Wands. They're so cute. It's just a little necklace that has affirmations on them. So I am a very big believer that what you think about, you bring about. So one side of it, it's very small. It's a cute little pendant. It kind of just sits here. Um, one side says enough, and then the other side says worthy. I don't know if this is going to behave itself. You see it says worthy, and then if I roll it, it says enough. I have mine on. My friend doesn't know she's getting one, so haha, -ha, surprise! Um, but yeah, these are adorable. I'll leave them linked down below. It's no affiliate or anything. I just think they're beautiful, and for me, I'm trying to really tap into and believe my affirmations, and so perhaps I'll write one of them over here like you are enough or something like that, because I really... I really strongly believe that that's something that we need to say more to each other and more to ourselves because I don't think we think we're enough. I think we're constantly, I'm constantly comparing myself to someone else and you know that's definitely not healthy. Um, it's definitely not something that I'm proud of. So, and then I think I might be meeting a friend for a drink after one of the meets since we can do indoor dining now, which feels so foreign, but uh, I'll probably sit by a fire or something outdoors because like looking over a lake like how could you not do that um so yeah i'm not really sure what the rest of the weekend's gonna hold um i will though know that i'm gonna be caffeinating like crazy i loaded up my starbucks card just because when you're driving you know you never know when you're gonna want to get some coffee along the way so do that so that's gonna about wrap this weekend up. I feel like I don't have a whole lot to fill in just because I'm doing a lot of like, there's plans, but there's also things that I need to track and keep up with and those types of things and I haven't really done that yet. So, you know, I think this is gonna be enough for the week. I'm gonna just draw a line for this one since I didn't do it. But while we're here, I'll go ahead and mark off all of the different things that I did. I skipped that, we did that and that that. Did not read and so far I've meditated and checked my budget and had my vitamins. So that's gonna wrap up this week. I think this is absolutely adorable. Let me know what you're thinking. I thought I was done. But turns out I'm not. So I don't know if you guys have ever had this before. I have a video from last year linked. It's called the Celebrations Collection. Um, it, it's actually launching uh, again. They do it once a year and I'm gonna take the fun sticker here. Um, this is exciting. I have always, like as a planner person, always dreamed of going ahead and having the money to get this because 
let me tell you, it's like chock full of stuff. And so normally, um, like I would, when I was still paying off debt, I was trying really hard to justify and sort of like scrimp on it. And I went ahead and bought it last year. I remember doing it on the train because I know it sells out so fast. Um, and it's just been such a fun thing to add to my planner repertoire. And plus you get an adorable Chris Ann Designs binder. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that link down below for you if, in case you want to go ahead and get it. It launches on Friday the 22nd. And I believe it goes from the 22nd until the 26th. So it's only around like pretty short time, which is kind of insane. But it's one of those things that I love and is so helpful. And as you can see, it's in here already. If you love Chris Ann Designs and you're looking for, you know, I don't have my new copy yet, but um, there's always a bunch of kits in the back and you've got all sorts of fun date headers and all sorts of good stuff. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for uh, a big Chris Ann Designs order that comes complete with all sorts of stuff to sort of max out your kit for the year. I highly recommend the Celebrations Collection. I will be doing a review of it when I get my copy ahead of time, so look out for that video. But now I can finally say that's going to about wrap up this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it and it does help our little channel out. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you can see all of my content in your feed as soon as it's published. Don't forget, you can also click that notification bell and I believe there's like a personalized setting so you can actually get them like custom to you, which is kind of nifty. I've been actually switching some of my notifications over for other channels that I watch. But yeah, you can follow me over on Instagram, at a man with the plans. You can follow me over on TikTok, at a man with the plans. I've also been using Clubhouse recently. I'm kind of getting into that. It's kind of fun. It's like a, a real-time podcast. Um, I'm Ryan Seelock on there. I'm going to go ahead and check that out. But that's going to about wrap up this week. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are you up to? What do your plans look like? And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, planner friends. <laughs>